Hello, I'm Lelda Smith for the Capital Network. Joining me at Hong Kong Minds and Money is the Managing Director of Galaxy Resources, Anthony C. Anthony, welcome. Good morning. Now, lithium is the commodity everyone wants to know about. Can you explain what your outlook is for this booming commodity and based on what factors? I think it's going to be a very interesting uh, next five to ten years in terms of demand growth. Uh, lithium as we all know, is very prevalent in our consumer electronics. So whether they're laptops, or iPads, or, or our smartphones, uh, all use lithium as a preferred technology. Uh, and you know that's a, already a very burgeoning sector. However, there's a lot more new growth coming online as we speak right now, uh, especially in the uh, electric vehicle sector, uh, where we're seeing a, a huge uh, increase in adoption rates uh, uh, across the world. Um, last year the world sold about 780,000 electric vehicles. But a lot of that growth is coming from North Asia and specifically China. China itself sold over half a million vehicles and uh, all of those are using lithium batteries. Okay, so you talk about this increasing demand, mm -hmm. obviously with more competition entering into the market. Sure. Where do you think that Galaxy Resources is going to find its competitive advantage in this marketplace? Sure, so we have a very interesting portfolio of assets. So we have two hard rock lithium projects, uh, one in Australia, one in Canada, and a third uh, brine project in Argentina. Um, we are currently in production on our Australian asset and that's generating uh, some very healthy cash flows for us. Uh, and that puts us in a very good position to actually fund our other development projects going forward as we look to bring on more capacity. Okay, well that's a, a good update on what's happening with Galaxy Resources. Now looking ahead, what can shareholders uh, look forward to as far as milestones in the coming six to 12 months? I think uh, Mount Catlin beginning to uh, perform at capacity and, and improving grades there. Uh, obviously we're stepping into our new 2017 contracts and pricing environment now which is again uh, approximately a 50% uplift from where we were last year in terms of pricing. Uh, so that's going to be generating some very good margins for us. And uh, our two other projects, James Bay in Canada and, and Sao Vida in Argentina, uh, will be going through the next stage of uh, development. So James Bay will be completing its DFS and uh, Sao Vida we're um, having discussions with off takers and potential financiers on, on how to advance that project going forward. Well lots to look forward there and I know that uh, it's a very busy schedule for you. It has been while you've been at Minds and Money mm -hmm. as well. Can you explain why you love coming to this conference and, and what keeps you so busy here? Sure, I mean there's a lot of uh, uh, investors and some of our shareholders uh, come regularly to this event. Uh, and so for us, it's a good opportunity to catch up with everyone in, in one place. And, and obviously, we can also get a sense of uh, other initiatives and exciting things happening in our industry. Wonderful. Well, thank you for the update on Galaxy Resources today at Minds of Money. Great. You're welcome.